A lot of players in Grand Peace Online choose to use Black Leg or Rokushiki as supporting fighting styles. I use the phrase supporting fighting style because a lot of people use these fighting styles while relying on their fruit or weapon for most of their damage. This is because it only requires 20 stat points to unlock arguably the most useful moves within each of these fighting styles. For Black Leg, this is Collier, and for Rokushiki, this move would be Takai. In this video, I'll be going over both fighting styles and analyzing the pros and the cons. Okay, let's start with Rokushiki. So Rokushiki is a great supporting fighting style because it gives players a dash and tekai. Now tekai is useful because it allows players to block most, if not all, techniques within the game. Now this technique has uses in both PvP and PvE. In PvP, tekai can be used to block an opponent's ultimate technique. This is especially useful when it comes to dealing with ultimates like Raigo, Enkai, Jewels of Light, and Sea Quake. Furthermore, Tekai is also effective against regular block breaks like Ice Sword and Light Lunge. When it comes to PvE, Tekai is also really useful in boss fights. Most bosses in Grand Peace Online have a predictable ultimate attack that can be countered with Tekai. This is most noticeable in the Thunder Boss boss fight, as Thunder Boss will use Raigo at some point during the boss fight, and sometimes even multiple times. Arguably, Rokushiki's biggest weakness is that it doesn't have any block breaks except for the ultimate. Now, this is is why I would argue that Black Leg is better when it comes to PvP. However, I personally prefer to use Rokushiki because I like the dash and I have enough block breaks in my weapon and my Devil Fruit that I do not have to rely on my fighting style for more block breaks. Black Leg's most useful move in PvP is arguably one of its block breaks, Collier. Now, Collier only takes 20 stat points to unlock and it's an extremely useful block break. It can be used to extend combos or punish an opponent for blocking. One of the the only real downsides of using Black Leg as a supporting fighting style in PvP is that it doesn't have the dash that Rokushiki has. However, it's debatable whether this is even a downside, as many players prefer the default dash. When it comes to PvE, Black Leg is useful, but this somewhat relies on the player having Party Table Kick unlocked. Admittedly, Party Table Kick doesn't cost that many points, so I think it is fair to still include it in this comparison. Party Table Kick is effectively a barrage move that can be used to get off some quick damage on an NPC or NPCs. When it comes to deciding if there is an objectively better supporting fighting style, I think further analysis is needed. I also think that it's great depends on your play style. Rokushiki is perfect if you play defensively and aren't planning on relying on your fighting style for block breaks. Whereas, Black Leg is far more useful if you have an offensive playing style. Polyair is a great combo extender and can be used to punish players for blocking. Now, furthermore, for for only a few extra points, players can unlock Party Table Kick, which is great for PvE. Along with this, Black Leg is viable on its own as a main damage output, due to the high combo potential and high damage. This is where I'm going to end the video, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. I hope you have a great day, evening, whatever time it is for you guys, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.